Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure currency conversion in SAP DataSphere. To run currency conversion, there are specific entities that needs to be available in your space. Currency conversion views and the necessary supporting objects can be created based on a SAP connection. You are going to configure using SAP connection. So I'm going to use S4 HANA connection. First, we are going to validate the connections. So I will go to connections, select my space. And I have two connections. One is a BAP type connection, which is connected to my S4 HANA. And the other one is S4 HANA on-premise connection. So I'm going to first validate so validate is successful. We have data flows enabled, replication flows enabled, and remote tables also enabled. I will also validate ABAP connection. So my ABAP connection is also enabled without any errors. Now I will go to data builder. So now I'm going to create the currency conversion views. I will select the connection. So this is my ABAP connection and this is my S4 HANA on-premise type connection. So here is the difference. So if I go to direct connection, I will have data flow, tables and views. Whereas when I go for ABAP connection, I have one extra uh, remote table which gets generated. So I'm going to uh, use the ABAP connection where I'll able to also get the remote tables. So I'll click on create. If you see the number of objects is 24 currently in this space once the objects are deployed it will increase so it increased from 24 to 56 that means there are views tables data flows and remote tables that have been generated now let's go to one of the views So this is my view, okay, and the status is deployed. So I will just select and do a data preview on this. So I do not have any data in the table currently. For this, I need to run the data flow or the remote table to get data. So how we are going to do it is, I will go to data integration monitor. So first I'm going to get all the, so these are all my currency tables. Okay, now I can go to each table and do a data replication start data replication so it what it will do is it will connect to the remote source which is s4 hana and extract the data from there and then load it here in data sphere this we need to do for all the so now the data is available and there are number of records are 757. The similar way we need to do for each one. So I have now 
started the remote table data replication there are few in running state and whichever is completed it is in available state so here are the count of the records available in the tables now i will go to flows so data flows so these are my data flows for my currency tables i can go to each of them and just click on run and start or i can also run from So now all the data flows are now running. Great. Now let's go to data builder. Go to views and select any of the flows. So if you see there is currency written in the technical name and these are all the tables which are required and it will actually create a view. in data sphere so that we can use these views in our data modeling see we have data here great now this is how we will able to create all the views and the data available for currency conversion